Romans 8.28 is a well-known verse and is quoted by Christians often, but I fear that the full meaning is lost on many of us. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God. Most of us are very familiar with this first section and may use it to comfort one another or ourselves in times of distress. And while I admit that this is a good thing, I propose that the real meat of the verse is hidden in the second section. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Many people of all walks of life say that they love God. So do all things work together for the good of all people who say that they love God? According to Romans 8.28, there's a second stimulation needed before all things work together for your good. To those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Twice in John chapter 10, we see who is doing the calling and who is being called. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. We see here that Jesus is calling his own sheep by name, and can conclude that the calling is personal and on an individual basis. If Jesus is calling you by name, you may hear it now. If you do, you will know it is Jesus, because you are his sheep feel a quickening of your spirit as it shouts out in the joy of resurrection, repentance, and faith in the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ, being given to you as the gifts that will preserve you into the day of judgment and beyond. And if it is you that are called according to his purpose, you should be concerned with what that purpose is. There are three main purposes of God in our holy calling. First is sanctification. Romans 8.29 says, For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. The first purpose of God in our calling is to separate us to the gospel, conforming us through a lifelong cycle of sinning before a holy God, being convicted to recognize it, confessing our sin to that holy God and growing in our strength of faith in what we already knew that we were forgiven the work was finished on the cross this should not cause us to sin for the very purpose of sanctification but to realize that as we travel the narrow path our walk may require us to stumble and follow the light back to the path and that light is Jesus Christ. The second purpose for which God called us as we walk the narrow path is our works, the fruit that we produce after being born again. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Therefore we can conclude that all things work together for good only for the people that can answer yes to all of the following questions. 
do you love God? Have you been called by Jesus by name? Have you repented of your sin? And have you believed in the gospel? Are you being conformed into the image of Christ? Are you walking in good works that were prepared beforehand? If you cannot answer yes to any of these questions, you should meditate on the passages presented here and pray for guidance from the Holy Spirit. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel to motivate further content.